Hey, it's Natalie Zafat, and I'm here at AFSIA West talking with Samsung's Todd Maxwell about endpoint security evolution. Why are today's tools falling short when it comes to preventing attacks? So if you look at one of the solutions we're working on, the CAC replacement solution, and you think about that technology, and it was great when it first came out, but that's over 17 years old now. That first came out in 1999, 2000. So if you think about all the innovation that's happened then, that's why it's falling short. It's not because it's bad technology, it's just antiquated and dated. What is Samsung's CAC replacement vision? So the way we looked at it is approaching it like a smart home. When you get up in the morning, you grab your phone, you look at it, you're authenticating yourself either through iris or your face recognition, and then you're accessing data. And you're moving around the place and imagine you leave for the day and it's automatically locking the door, turning on your security system. All these things we can already do. Now imagine taking that and putting it in your workplace where it allows you access to information because you're constantly pulling who you are, which makes it more secure to the data you're receiving. So we're trying to automate that whole process to allow you to have access to information anytime, anywhere. Tell us about some of the aspects of the CAC replacement strategy. Well, so we're going to start with our Knox platform. That's the basis of all of our security. That's baked in in the manufacturing level, which is unique to us because we control our entire manufacturing process. No one else can claim that. And then we add in the continuous multi-factor authentication. They're working with our Knox development team to constantly pull information like heart rate, EKG, facial, iris, uh, gait, different information. We tie that in so it's always proving that it's you. And then we add in the derived credentialing pieces, which can be issued by different agencies. And then you add the last piece, which is facilities access management. It allows you to just touch in and badge in with your watch, your phone, to get into the building while it's authenticating and doing geofencing, turning certain features off on your phone. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.